Hi everyone, so time for a new update. So it's been a while since I last made an update video regarding Isabella's egg sac. Fortunately, not good news. So a couple of days after I filmed uh, the egg sac, uh, Isaiah came over, uh, bought one of his green bottle blue uh, females, which I'll show you uh, towards the end of the video. Uh, he came over because he wants to take some nice specimens well, pictures of my personal specimens and put it up on Facebook to share with you guys. I think by now, if you're a subscriber to Tarantulas in Canada forum, uh, you'll be able to see uh, those pictures. If not, uh, message me. If you don't see them, I'll uh, be glad to post them and share with you guys on my Facebook page. And I, I, it's been a long time since I last made a update pictures on it. So uh, when he came over, uh, we looked at the egg sac and I noticed that she abandoned it. And whenever that happens, that's not good. So right away, I prepared the incubator. I cut open the egg sac and all the eggs were totally black and liquid. So <sighs> fortunately, she dropped the egg sac again. But that doesn't not going to stop me from not trying again. So I always firmly believe the third time's a charm. And hopefully, if I find a mature male, uh, Picanserides, or maybe I'll buy another one and raise it up. We'll try again and hopefully I'll get a better success the third time round. So uh, that's unfortunately the bad news. So good news is coming out of it though. Of course I have a GBB female which I've always wanted plus tomorrow is the annual or the biannual reptile expo that always happens in March and November. So of course guys I'm going to take you along with me to enjoy the ride and to enjoy the experience of what Canadian uh, reptile expos are like and of course I'm, I'm gonna buy something and I'm not gonna tell you what they, it is yet but I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. And other news, name revisions. So you guys are not gonna like me but Avicularia has been recently revised and it, I think it's a good thing because Avicularia is a messed up genus so a lot of people on Facebook send me these messages of their pink toes and asking me if uh, if this is an Avic Avic. Well it's very hard to, to identify them because they're so similar like species Suriname and species Trinidad look exactly like Avic species Avic. So unfortunately in my collection, I have no more Avix, and I kind of suspected as much because Versicolor is very different than your traditional Avic Avic, and so is a Lieta. So now uh, these are Carabina species, so that's spelled C-A-R-I-B-E-N-A. -E so Carabina Versicolor and Carabina Lieta. I'm still going to call them Antilles Pink Toe and uh, Puerto Rican Pink Toe, but fortunately I can't call these Avix anymore. So uh, that's one big name change. And also uh, Vicularia diversipes and Vicularia uh, surutima also got big name changes. They're no relocated in an entirely different genus called Yipibora. Yeah. Yippee Bora, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how it is. So I, on the video description, I'm going to link you to uh, the thread that I saw on Arachnid Boards. So now this is official. So all of the Calaria Versicolors and Laletas are now moved to Carabina species. Well, the genus. And also a big name change is our famous Brachypelma smithy. I have no idea why they actually did it, but now Brachypelma smithy is now Brachypelma hamori. So that's spelled H-A-M-O-R-I-I. And what does that leave the smithy? Well, they are saying now that Anitha is now a junior name, so now that's called B. smithy. So Brachypelma Anitha is now Brachypelma smithy, and the Brachypelma smithy that we all knew and love and that's how I got starting the tea hobby is now Brachypelma Hamore. That's how it is guys, unfortunately. Uh, so I'll end the video showing my GBB female that I picked up from Isaiah and my newly molted female of Canthus Genicolata. 
Oh yeah, speaking of feeding video 135, uh, that is going to be aired uh, sometime uh, this weekend, which is going to be good. And I'll be able to include the new uh, tease that I filmed for you guys tomorrow. So let's have a look. Not using it well. Anyways, this is the GBB uh, female Chromatopelma cyanopubescens. This is about a three, oh, not two and a half inch female, freshly molted. Very, very cute. And meet my new Acanthoscuria geniculata after her nice molt. Uh, no wonder why she wouldn't eat any tarantula feeding video 134. Uh, just let me get the enclosure open. And there we go. Look how beautiful and gorgeous she is. Awesome. Alright everyone, so enjoy the video, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for tomorrow where we're going to go to the Reptile Expo. Yay! Alright guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned.